Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase and then store it in your own wallet. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to show you one of the easiest, quickest, safest ways to purchase Bitcoin. And then I'm going to show you how to store this Bitcoin in your own wallet. There's been a lot of talk lately about self-custody. The safest and most secure way to store your Bitcoin is in your own wallet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, I'll show you how to purchase some, and then I'll show you how to store it in your own wallet. All right, so I'm here on the Coinbase homepage. There are a couple of ways to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase. There's an easy way and there's a cheaper way. So let me show you the easy way first. If you go up here to buy, sell, and then uh, Bitcoin is already chosen for you here. And I've already got my bank account set up. You can make purchases on Coinbase using your bank account with uh, direct ACH transfers. You can set up a debit card or do a wire transfer. If you haven't done any of this yet, there's an add payment method button there. So you can get yourself set up with a payment method on Coinbase. Now that we've got these two things lined up, all we need to do is put in an amount that we'd like to purchase. Uh, I can show you 50. And notice there uh, is a little merchant charge on that. And if we go to 100, the merchant charge is a little higher. And all you have to do is click Buy Now, and the Bitcoin will automatically appear in your account. But that's a little bit pricey, $2.99 on a $100 purchase. There is a cheaper way on Coinbase, and that's over in the Trade interface. So if we go over here to Trade... You can see that they have trading pairs here. Uh, Bitcoin US dollar is the one you want if you're buying Bitcoin. And so all you'll have to do is do a market order and then uh, buy some Bitcoin using your available funds. Now, notice here that my US dollar is empty. So you're going to have to make a deposit first of some US dollar. You can do that as well directly from your bank account. All right, so if you do something like that, uh, you can do 50 or 100, hit continue, and it will add the U.S. dollars to your account. All right, notice I'm not paying any fees to make this deposit. Your bank may charge you fees, but Coinbase does not. All right, and now that we've done that, we've got some U.S. dollar in our account. All right, we can go back over here, uh, choose market. We're in the buy tab, and then we can just slide this over. Uh, for the total amount of cash that we have in our account. So you can use as little or as much of your available balance as you would like to. And notice here that the fee is only 30 cents when we do this kind of trade. Very simple. All, right, all we do is hit buy BTC and then we have Bitcoin in our account. Now notice if we go over here to assets, you can see that I already have some Bitcoin in my account and there's that $50 that I just deposited. So you can maintain uh, cash or Bitcoin in your Coinbase account and also a lot of other cryptocurrencies. So what I want to do now that I have Bitcoin in my Coinbase account is make a withdrawal to my own wallet. And the wallet that I'm going to use is the Ledger Nano X. This is a hardware-based wallet. It stores the private key of your wallet offline. It's one of the most safe and secure ways to store your Bitcoin. I'm going to show you how to make a first-time deposit once you get the device set up. But if you need some instructions on how to get the device set up, I've got a great video on that. I'll put a link to that up in the corner there so that you can get yourself set up. We're going to launch Ledger Live. That's the software that uh, accompanies your Ledger Nano device. All right, I'll go ahead and click Get Started. And I, like I mentioned, I've already got my device set up. So I can go straight over here. All right, there's a little bit of warning here. And then it's going to check that my device is genuine. Make sure you have your device connected to your computer with a cable. All right, and it's going to ask you to allow Ledger Manager. So in order to do this, you'll just click both buttons really quick, just one quick click. All right, and there it's check the Ledger Nano, got a uh, all clear. 
and now we're at the uh, account interface. So we're gonna go ahead and add a Bitcoin account, right? I'm gonna add an account and we'll choose Bitcoin. We'll hit continue. And if you don't have the Bitcoin app installed on your device, it will automatically do it for you. The app on the device is the private key of the wallet. So you'll just want to make sure that you've got your device attached for this. It's going to do everything for you. It's basically creating an empty Bitcoin wallet for us. All right, now it wants us to open the Bitcoin app. Now that it's got the app installed, we'll click both buttons to do that. And there we go. Uh, I've just created my first Bitcoin wallet. You can alter the name of this. Just call it Bitcoin or my Bitcoin, whatever you want to call it. I'll hit add account. And then I'm done. All right, you can go over here to accounts and see that you have an empty Bitcoin wallet created here. I'll just click on this anywhere along this bar and open up the Bitcoin wallet. Now we wanna store our Bitcoin in this wallet, so we're going to do a receive. We'll click receive, and then we'll just choose continue here. All right, it's going to show you the Bitcoin address on your computer screen, and you'll also see it on your device. This is a confirmation that uh, the hardware device is matched to the account. I'll, I'll just click here to copy this address into my clipboard. I'll go over here to Coinbase. I'll go up here to send receive. And in this case, I'll do a send, right? I'm going to send the Bitcoin in my Coinbase account into my wallet. All right, so all I have to do is paste the address that I copied into my clipboard. And in today's case, I'll just choose send all. You can send as little or as much of the Bitcoin that you have in your Coinbase account. If you have never done this before, I highly recommend that you do a small test transaction first to make sure that you've got the all of the steps down, right? We'll click continue here. All right, there is a small network fee on the Bitcoin network, not too much. I'll click send now. And then I'm gonna use my two-factor authentication for my Coinbase account. We'll click confirm there. Off it goes. Could take uh, several minutes to show up in your wallet. They give you an estimate of 30 minutes. Now you can also go down here to Bitcoin and check your wallet and look up at the status of the uh, withdrawal, right? You've got a pending withdrawal. It'll confirm the address that you were sending to so you know that everything's okay. We can go back over here. Uh, and now that we have uh, started the transfer, we can go ahead and approve this address. And we're basically done with the device now. We can disconnect the device. We don't need the device connected after we've started the transfer. You don't need the device connected to receive the Bitcoin, right? The Bitcoin is only moving around on the blockchain. Your wallet is just uh, a sort of a key to unlock that Bitcoin address. We'll hit done here. And then uh, the account in Ledger Live is just kind of a window into this blockchain address. So you don't need the device attached to check your balance. All right, and there we go. You can see that the Bitcoin that I withdrew from my Coinbase account has now showed up in the wallet. Notice if we hover over here, it says not confirmed yet. It does need to confirm on the Bitcoin blockchain. This does not mean that you don't have it. This just means that it's not spendable yet. Once you see it appear in the wallet, you can rest assured that your Bitcoin is safe and secure in your own wallet. And you can pat yourself on the back that you've made a successful purchase of Bitcoin and a successful deposit into your own wallet. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.